Hello, my name is Jens Ekbæk. When a video is imported to iMovie, an ABC HD video from one of the new high definition cameras, then iMovie will uh, um, convert the MTS file to Apple Intermediate Codec. If we don't want to do that but uh, would like to maintain a greater quality, we can do something else, which I will show you here. I take these three files and I put them into this program. And now I go here and look at the encode settings. And I have made an MTS Avaria export. This is full resolution, 25 frames per second, and 12,000, two channel stereo, AAC, and done. Now I will convert those to MOV files. And this is a good media converter. The problem is that uh, the Mac does not, uh, cannot use these MTS files. Uh, not before they have been through iMovie and been uh, uh, converted to Apple Intermediate Codec. And then they will be converted back again to H264. And uh, under this conversion, we cannot control because the Apple Intermediate Codec does exactly what it wants to do, and we have no insight in the quality that it makes. In this matter here, we will have an insight in the quality. The files have been recorded with about an SP um, setting and that uh, is about 7 megapixels per second but uh, when I look it through it, it will show about 10 megapixels per second and now I convert them to 12,000 megapixels. 12 megapixels per second, so uh, it gets uh, quite a good quality. What I will do is I will uh, import the resulting files in a, in a QuickTime Pro Professional, the old QuickTime 7 and uh, that is one option and uh, it's a good option because um, we can edit the video in quick time so we can edit the video without using an editing program. And it doesn't take very long. And uh, as you can see, it can batch convert. And, uh, we have absolutely control over what we make out of the recorded files. And that's one thing we do not have on the Mac. We do not have control. I think it is Steve Jobs, he has a control. But uh, now I take the control from Steve Jobs.
so. All tasks have been finished. And we can close this. Now we have these files. The three files. And we can see this is the first uh, file recorded with the camera. Now we have this movie and we go to the end and we take uh, number one thing and then we take number two. Then we have the three files here. Made one. And if we would like to omit some of it, then we can just uh, move these two sliders and This is we want to uh, remove some of the first part of the video. Up to where the bus comes in. Then I remove this. And the video will start again. We first update the video camera. What we can do now is we can uh, archive it very easy archive as first first the review film so so it's archived so we made the film first the review film we have it here First, the very film. We first update it with the camera. It was very easy and uh, not long moments used for making the film uh, can, it is uh, uploadable to YouTube uh, Thank you for watching